Welcome to Alan's Astro Aspects. Come on in and visit this video blog to find out what times are going to be good for what and what times to avoid certain things according to the rules of astrology. Let's get started. Hi and welcome to your astrological forecast for May 22nd to 28th. So for Sunday, May 22nd, if you check around with other astrologers, the big news today is that Mercury goes direct. And if you've been following these forecasts for a while, uh, you'd know that I wouldn't put all that much into Mercury retrograde. But it's worthwhile to check and to see if 14 degrees Taurus is in aspect to anything significant in your chart. A planet that is changing from retrograde to direct backs more of a wallop. So it's worth noting um, to, to see if that works for you. The biggest advice that I have for now is that it's okay to sign contracts again and you don't have to focus so much on reviewing things, especially writing or mathematical work. Now, it's still a day to take it easy for several other reasons, however. The moon has some difficult aspects to Neptune and to Jupiter in the afternoon. So I would be a bit careful about some fuzzy-minded thinking from that Neptune aspect and to watch out for being too enthusiastic or taking some risks with the Jupiter aspect. After that, until about 5.30 p.m., we have the moon in conjunction to Saturn, which just encourages us to take it easy for the rest of the day and start no new projects until tomorrow. Now, for Monday, May 23rd, Fortunately, this Back to Work Monday is a little bit better. The Moon makes a positive aspect to Uranus, but may be good for some out, that may be good for some out-of-the-box thinking, or to do something unusual for your morning, but try not to freak out the boss. <laughs> okay, well, there is a Moon void, of course, this morning. You can ignore it because the Moon will be in Sagittarius, where it can still allow you to do any tasks that you start this morning. Later on, shortly after midnight and into the early hours of Tuesday, the moon does move into Capricorn. Now, for Tuesday, May 24th, the moon moving into Capricorn and settling in today will make it a good day to organize things and to structure your day or any projects that you're working on. While the moon doesn't especially like being in this sign, it still may be possible to use the organizing abilities of Capricorn and its natural business-like attitude to get some good things accomplished today. Venus does move into Gemini in the early hours of the morning also, which should help some people with either Gemini rising or Gemini sun sign with relationships, all other factors being equal. Later in the evening, Venus does oppose Mars. I would be careful about relationships, but oh, if, you know, with that aspect, even though in mythology Venus and Mars were lovers, the opposition tension would lead me to be cautious about ending late night dates. For Wednesday, May 25th, there are some good aspects in the wee hours of the morning. So if you work the overnight shift, it may be good to ask the boss for a favor or you may be inspired in your communication. But for most people, we'd be sleeping through all of this. Around 9.30 a.m., there is a moon conjunct Pluto to watch out for, so avoid office politics and be a bit careful into the afternoon and early evening. The moon is squaring Uranus, perhaps bringing up some unexpected complications. Thursday, May 26th, the slow-moving planets Jupiter and Saturn today make an exact 90 degrees aspect. This brings to head the tension that we've been seeing on the world scene between the general forces of expansion and optimism and conservative caution. Since it's exact today, I wouldn't be surprised if something interesting in the news today shows up, although these certainly have been interesting times in general. For most of us, though, the Moon is making positive aspects to Mars, Venus, and the Sun today. So that may make things a little bit more calm, at least in the short term. And also, hey, it's a good day to suck up to the boss. <laughs> now, for Thursday, Friday, uh, May 27th, today Mars moves into Scorpio, which it rules. So it's a good time for ending fights. 
uh, investigating deeply into the dark corners of things, and it'll be a big help to those with Scorpio prominent in their chart. A nice aspect to Saturn in the late morning gives us a opportunity to plan some business, uh, especially with someone who's older and wiser. And for gardeners, it's a good time to be out and in your garden. In the afternoon until about 2 o'clock, there is a brief negative aspect to Mercury. So make your words kind towards others and proofread a little bit more. And you should be fine. Saturday, May the 28th, I would be a little more cautious today with the moon square Mars and especially avoid any new agreements with anyone. After about 3.30 p.m., the moon goes void, of course, so I would take the opportunity to relax for the rest of this Saturday, with the evening being especially good for that after 4 p.m. when the moon moves into Pisces. And it allows you to dream a little bit or seek out some nice diversions for a Saturday night. That's all for this week, folks. I've put up a new video that's an hour and a half hour, hours long as a beginning introduction to astrology. It's especially useful if you haven't learned much beyond sun signs. So look that up on the YouTube channel. Until next week, may the stars in their courses bless you today and every day.